Good morning all. I am Neha Rao. Today I will introduce pharmaceutical microbiology to all of you. In today's lecture, we will discuss on definition of microbiology, types of microorganisms, benefits of microorganisms to human being and environment, harmful effects of microorganisms, different branches of microbiology, Techniques used in microbiology and characteristics of microbes. Let's move on the first part, definition. Microbiology is the study of living organisms of microscopic size, which include bacteria, fungi, algae, protozoa and the infectious agent at the borderline of life that are called viruses. Another definition. Microbiology is the study of microscopic organisms which are defined as any living organism that is either a single cell, unicellular, a cell cluster or has no cells at all or cellular. There are two types of cells, eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Eukaryotes such as fungi protest and prokaryotes such as bacteria and a cellular includes viruses and prions. The another associated term with microbiology that is immunology, the study of immune system or immunology. Generally, immune systems interact with the pathogenic microbes. Pathogenic means disease causing microorganisms. The next is types of microorganisms that microbial world includes viruses, bacteria, eubacteria and archaebacteria. Fungi, yeast and molds, protozoa, and microscopic algae. These are the five types of microorganisms played a major role in the microbial world. Benefits associated with microorganisms. Microorganisms maintain balance of environment called microbial ecology. They involve in basis of food chain. They involve majorly in nitrogen fixation. Microscopic algae played major role in photosynthesis. Digestion and synthesis of vitamins. Manufacture of food and drink such as yogurt, cheese and alcohol preparation. Genetic engineering, synthesis of chemical products such as antibiotics, recycling sewage, bioremediation, use of microbes to remove toxins, oil spills, use of microbes to control crop pest, and the most important is normal microbiota. So, these all are the benefits of microorganisms. Some are harmful effects of microorganisms, cause disease, faces called bioterrorism, food spoilage and infectious diseases ultimately cause disease. It may lead to death as well. The next is branches of microbiology. The study of bacteria is called bacteriology. The study of fungi is called mycology study of immunity called immunology, study of viruses called virology, study of parasites, protozoa called parasitology, chemotherapy is one of the branch which deals with the treatment of diseases by using chemical means, antibiotics produced naturally and synthetic drugs. These all are the branches of microbiology. Sizes of microbes. Virus is in the range of 10 to 1000 nanometers. Bacteria is in the range of 0.1 to 5 micrometers. Even human eye can see 0.1 millimeter, which is 1 billion in case of virus. And for bacteria, requires 1 million and for the same tools of microbiology 
help to observe microorganisms. Compound like microscope is used to observe live specimens of microbes, bacteria, algae, fungi, protozoa. Electron microscope used to observe viruses, non-living specimens. Incubator used to keep microbes warm for growth. It's operated at 37 degrees Celsius for bacteria and for fungi at 25 degrees Celsius. These are the various techniques of microbiology, staining to better see the structure of microorganisms, microbial culture produced in different culture media, food for microbes, agar and nutrient drops. Various pure culture techniques performed in microbiology lab, inoculation, isolation of pure culture and identification of microbes. The characteristics of microbes, the first one is cell types, there are two types of cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Prokaryotic cell includes chromosomes, ribosomes, cell membrane, plus, which is also called as plasma membrane, cell wall and the outer one is flagellum. And the another type is eukaryotic, this eukaryotic cell includes nucleus, mitochondria, cell membrane, ribosomes, flagellum. Bacteria is an example of prokaryotic cell and uh, fungi, algae, protozoa. These are the examples of eukaryotic cell. Virus type is categorized into a cellular type of microorganism. Consists of nucleic acid and capsid which is together called nucleocapsid and this nucleocapsid sometimes enveloped by protein carbohydrate lipid core which is called envelope and this virus is called enveloped virus. The microbial world consists of living organisms and non-living infectious agents. In living organisms, the domain, which are three domains are here, bacteria, archaea and eukarya. Bacteria, archaea together called prokaryotes, unicellular, and eukarya is eukaryotes, algae, unicellular or multicellular, protozoa, unicellular, fungi, unicellular or multicellular, helmin, multicellular parasites. This algae and protozoa are together called protest. The another type of microbes, infectious agents, which are non-living ones, are also called as obligate parasites, viruses, viroids, and prenops. So this is all about the introduction of microbiology. Thank you all. Thank you.